Hello children. Today we are going to learn about fractions. So are you excited for today's maths lesson on fractions? So let's get started. So first of all, we will uh, try to understand what is a fraction, right? So what is a fraction? A fraction is nothing, but it is a part of a whole. It represents one or more equal parts of a whole object, right? So let's do, take a look at this example. Let's say we are having a fraction three by four. So let's start with first this three. So what this three is, this three is known as a numerator. What a numerator indicates? The numerator indicates the total number of parts we consider. The total number of equal parts that we consider, right? So under that numerator, we have a line which is known as fraction bar. We call it fraction bar or we call it division bar, right? So under division bar, we have denominator. So now what is a denominator? So denominator is nothing but it is the total number of equal parts the one whole is divided into. So we call it a denominator, right? Okay. So now, <clears throat> one more thing is, I would like to tell you, a fraction is also a part of a set, right? So we can say a fraction is also a part of a set. Let's take a look at this example B. So here I have taken four stars. Three of them are red and one is blue. So we can say that three fourths of the stars are red here in this example. So three fourths is the fraction of the stars, which is red, correct? Okay. Now let's move ahead. So did you know what is a unit fraction? Okay, so a unit fraction is nothing. It is a fraction that has one as a numerator, right? So one as the numerator. So here, if you see the examples, what I have written, one by seven, one by nine, one by 13, one by 63, all are the examples of a unit fraction. Unit fraction means a fraction that has one as the numerator. Now let's move ahead. What are like fractions? What are like fractions? The fractions with same denominators are known as like fractions, right? So we are talking about same denominators here. So let's take a look at this example. So one by four, three by four, five by four. So we can say these fractions are like fractions. So why these are like fractions? So here we can clearly see the denominator in all the fractions are same, which is four. So that is why all these fractions are like fractions. Now what are unlike fractions? So fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions, right? So it is just the opposite of like fractions. Like fractions, we were looking at the same denominators, but here, when we see the denominators are different, the fractions are known as unlike fractions. So here we can see clearly in this example, five by seven, three by four, six by 11, denominators are different. So fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions, clear? Okay, now let's see what are the different types of fractions we have. So first type of fraction is proper fraction. Now what is a proper fraction? So we can say a fraction in which numerator is less than denominator. What do we say? A fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. So let's take a look at this example. So example is saying two by eight. So here, what is the numerator? Two. So here, what is the denominator? Eight. So here we can clearly see 
2 is less than 8, right? So, a fraction in which numerator is less than denominator is known as a proper fraction. Now, let's see what are improper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is now greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction, is called an improper fraction. So let's take a look at this example, 5 by 4. So here, 5 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator. So here, we can clearly see that 5 is greater than 4. So numerator is greater than denominator. So we can say 5 by 4 is an improper fraction. Now, let's see another example, which is 4 by 4. So 4 and 4. 4 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator. Here we can clearly see that numerator and denominator both are equal. So when both are equal, then also a fraction is known as improper fraction. So we can say 4 by 4 is also an improper fraction. Now let's move towards the mixed fractions. Now what are mixed fractions? A mixed fraction is nothing. It is a mixed number which is the sum of the natural number and a proper fraction. I'll repeat, mixed fraction is nothing. It's a mixed number or a mixed fraction, which is the sum of the natural number and a proper fraction. Let's take a look at this example. So here we can see three circles. So the first circle is one whole. All the four parts are shaded in one color. Second, it's again one whole and in third circle, it is half of the part is shaded and half of the part is unshaded, right? So here we can see clearly, so this is one whole plus one whole plus one by two. So one plus one, both are natural numbers. So here we can see one plus one, both are natural numbers plus a fraction is equal to a mixed fraction. So the mixed fraction for this example is 2, 1 by 2 because we were having two natural numbers, two holes and half of one hole, right? So this is how these are known as mixed fractions. Now let's learn how can we change a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So let's say we are having an example 5, 4 by 2. 9. So, 5, 4 by 9 is a mixed fraction. Now, how can we convert and convert it into an improper fraction? So, let's say we already have learned in the previous slide that mixed fraction is made up of a natural number and a proper fraction. So, how we are going to convert it? We are going to multiply natural number with the denominator, then adding the numerator in it to form a new numerator. Form a new numerator and then we are going to divide it with the same denominator. Right? So, let's take an example. Let's say 5, 4 by 9. Right? So let's see how this is be, how we are going to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So here, what is the denominator? Nine. So we're going to write nine down. Then what is the numerator? What is the natural number? Five. And here, what we are doing to change, any, in, uh, change it into an improper fraction, we are multiplying natural number into denominator. So we are going to multiply five into nine, which we have done here, plus numerator. 5 into 9 gives us 45. Then we are adding the numerator. Then we get the improper fraction by converting mixed into proper as 49 by 9. This is how we convert mixed number or mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Now let's learn how can we convert improper fraction into a mixed fraction. Let's take an example 9 by 2. So we have to convert it into a mixed fraction. So to convert a proper fraction into a mixed fraction, we are going to divide numerator 
with denominator. We are going to divide numerator with denominator. So when we divide numerator with denominator, we get one as the remainder, two as the divisor, four as the quotient. Now to form a proper fraction into a mixed fraction, we just have to write quotient plus remainder divided by division. So what is quotient here? Four. And what is reminder here? What is remainder here? One. And what is divisor here? Two. So it is four, one by two. So this is how we convert improper fractions into mixed fractions. So children, hope you enjoyed today's lesson about fractions and most of the things about fractions is clear to you. So thank you so much for uh, listening to your teacher. Thank you so much.